going on guys? Solid Soul here. I'm going to be bringing you guys a quick tips and tricks video for Photoshop today. Um, this one's going to be on managing your layers and just keeping things a little bit more organized. Um, this is just going to be, I mean this is basically how I work uh, whenever I'm working on a new project. Um, this is just how I do things. So uh, let's just get started. Um, so let's open up a new project here. Oh no, I do not want to do that. So okay, uh, let's just do the dimensions. Let's just do 3500 by 2000. Uh, not 200, there, yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, so 300 resolution, uh, RGB color, that's fine. Transparent background, that's fine. Um, okay, so uh, first thing that I do is I, uh, I fill it with a solid color in the background. So I just start with black, so let's call this layer BK. Let's make a group, let's call it BG for background. Let's make another one, call it solid. There we go and drag the BK into the solid folder and then I just usually call it this gray because it's kind of out of the way and you know it doesn't really make much of a difference anyway so alright so then I uh, make another one um, let's just call it logo just because uh, I'll just be dragging a logo in here real quick um, let's make another one called mastering so uh, basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just making a bunch of groups that I know I'll be working uh, with um, within this project so I'm um, getting everything ready um, for the project so um, let's make another one call it filtering and then let's make another one called screen. And then I usually go into the BG and I make another one called texture. All right. Um, all right. So cool. All right. So um, let's just bring in the texture in here real quick. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Bring this in here. Perfect. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Uh, yep. Okay. All right. So. Uh, all right, sounds good. Uh, looks good. All right, so let's just call this T1 because it's the first texture or the first layer within the texture group. So it's just texture one, T1. Um, and then let's just say I want to make it maybe, maybe I want to make it darker. So I'll just do uh, T1 DST DRK or you know what? I'll just do DRK. And DRK obviously stands for dark. So um, just put it on multiply. It's a little bit darker. Um, but you can kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here with my layers. I'm kind of just naming them separately and uh, keeping everything a little bit or more organized. So let's make those gray. Let's make the logo red so it sticks out a little bit more. Let's put a mastering at the top. Let's put uh, levels. Actually, no. Yeah, let's put levels above filtering. So, uh, okay. Let's just pretend that this is a logo. Let's just call it logo. Make it a little bit bigger. So logo's right there. Uh, let's just turn down the spacing a little bit more. Uh, let's make it uh, 25. Yeah, that's fine. All right, and then what I usually do is I go into the uh, the logo folder and I'll make another folder and uh, it's just called Glow. <clears throat> so whenever I'm working um, on a special uh, tribute to something like the logo and I want to make it glow, I'll create a folder within that project folder or uh, within that you know specific folder and I'll kind of uh, create layers within that subfolder just so it's like I said it's a little bit more organized um, <clears throat> so you know let's just pretend that I make a glow la uh, layer and I'll just call that G1 for glow one or I could you know name it uh, let's just say it's specific color um, if it were red you know I would do R1 um, and I've kind of gotten in the habit of doing that just kind of making my layers a little bit more uh, simple as far as their name I don't really go kind of crazy with it I just kind of I almost abbreviated, uh, like you see there. So, all right. So as you can see, this is kind of getting a little bit more, uh, a little bit more organized. Um, it doesn't really matter what the project is. If I'm working on something that requires at least more than 20 minutes of my time, then I I go ahead with the grouping and make sure that everything's uh, a little bit more organized. So, and you know, if you if you happen to send this to somebody um, down the road, um, let's just say that you're doing it for a client and they have their own graphic designer and they want to rearrange something or if they're releasing it on Facebook or something like that um, when you send the PSD um, you know and they get it and they open it up it's gonna be everything's gonna be in its in its place and they'll know exactly where it is because you have everything properly labeled so it makes their job easier I'm pretty sure it makes your job easier so um, yeah that's basically just a little you know a little uh, coverage on uh, managing your layers and keeping everything a little bit more organized um, so yeah, that's that's really it. That's just that's it for this video. So uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Um, leave a comment below if you guys you know want me to do more of these. I'd be happy to do more of them. Um, I really don't have a whole lot of time nowadays, but when I do have time, I want to make sure that I'm 
putting these videos up for you guys uh, so I can help out and you know kind of do my part um, so yeah that's that's really it um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and um, until next time take it easy guys I'll see you in the next tutorial